One of the most striking fossils around today are the teeth and reconstructed jaws of the Megalodon. The jaws of the Megalodon are so big that up to two people can stand inside it. They are relics of a dominant predator that thrived some 20 million to 3.6 million years ago. A shark species that likely munched on whales and big fish, they grew to be about 50 feet long. That's bigger than a city bus. What caused the demise of such a commanding creature is still an ongoing investigation, but scientists have discovered a compelling clue. In research recently published in the science journal Nature Communications, earth scientists and biologists found preserved chemical evidence in fossilized teeth that megalodons and great white sharks coexisted as apex predators near the end of the megalodon's reign some 5.3 to 3.6 million years ago. That means they were competitors for prey. Previous research, like that published by paleontologist Robert Bossenecker, suggests that this competition was a driver for the megalodon's extinction. This new research suggests that the two species coexisted and ate the same food in the world's oceans for one to three million years. Bossenecker says that ultimately the megalodons were put at a disadvantage because it likely took longer for them to grow so large and reach sexual maturity. The great whites would have reproduced faster and thus outcompeted the bigger, more energy demanding megalodon. It's also important to note that many extinction stories aren't simple. The change in climate could have been a factor too, as global temperatures cooled during a period called the Pliocene, which is 5.3 to 2.6 million years ago. Cooler oceans may have made life harder for megalodons. Many marine creatures like mammals, turtles, sharks, and seabirds went extinct during the Pliocene. Perhaps then, the great white sharks, who can subsist on fewer calories, were better suited to survive as top predators in a changing world. To determine what both great white sharks and megalodons ate millions of years ago, researchers analyzed the element zinc in their fossilized teeth, and it showed that in the early Pliocene, both megalodons and great white sharks shared similar zinc compositions in their teeth, meaning that they were likely competing for the same prey. The story of the Megalodon's demise, however, is not nearly over. But now that researchers have shown, for the first time, that zinc isotopes are preserved in shark teeth for millions of years, scientists can reveal far more about the diets and lives of creatures who dwelled in Earth's ancient seas.